Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to go through how to install retro emulators on your Raspberry Pi. It's super simple. Here we got a Raspberry Pi Zero. Costs about five bucks on the Raspberry Pi website, plus about five dollars shipping. So about ten bucks. But I think if you buy like three of them, it'll still be five bucks. This is what we'll be using for this tutorial. Here, we've got the power input. Typical 5 volt micro USB. And right here we have the peripheral USB for keyboards and controllers and stuff. You're also going to need one of these. It's called an OTG cable. It's basically a micro USB to USB adapter. That way you can plug in your keyboards and stuff. And you're probably going to want to get a USB splitter so that you can plug in multiple things at once. I'll put a link in the description for everything in the comments. Here's the video output. It's a mini HDMI. You'll probably need one of these mini HDMI two HDMI cables. I got this three foot one for like three bucks on eBay. They also offer adapters on the Raspberry Pi website so you can get one there. And then we have a micro SD slot which is basically the hard drive of this mini computer. Goes in just like this. Boom. The rest of the I.O. won't be important for this tutorial but you can use this for other displays and stuff like that. Now the main thing you need to do is get a program called RetroPie on your micro SD. We're going to show you how to do that right now. Alright, to get RetroPie, click the link in the description. It'll bring you to this page. The latest one right now is RetroPie 4.7.1. I'm going to go to the download page right here. And you're going to want to click the link that corresponds with your Raspberry Pi. So for this one, zero. It's a big file. You're going to need at least a 4 gigabyte micro SD card. Once this is done downloading, you're going to want to extract it with a program like WinRAR. And then you're going to end up with a file like this. In order to write the image file, I use a program called Rufus. I'll put a link to that in the description. Alright, once you got Rufus booted up, go here to select. Navigate to where you have your image file. Double click. Plug in your SD card. And then everything should set up on its own. Hit start. And it will ask you to format your SD card. Hit yes. This will delete everything on the SD card. And replace it with the RetroPie image file. Once that's done, you should be all set to test it out on your Raspberry Pi. Remove the micro SD card from your computer, put it in the Raspberry Pi, and we're going to test it out. Alright, we're all plugged in with our HDMI and our controller. Now we just got to plug in the power. Now I'm powering it with this mini power bank right here. So you can use anything, plug it into a computer or a power brick or whatever. So here we go. Once you plug it in, you should see a green light pop up. And then it should boot up. It should look like this. It's going to do this every time. There is no power switch at the moment. This takes about one minute. And then you'll see this screen right here. And soon a screen will pop up asking for the controller input. I tried an Xbox One controller, it did not work. But this Switch controller here, Power A, did work. Now it's loading everything up. When the controller screen pops up, just hold any button and it'll ask you to configure your controller. I already did mine so it's not going to ask me. But we're not done yet. We still got to get our ROMs on there. In order to do that, get yourself a USB flash drive. Empty it out. Format it to FAT32. Put a folder on it called RetroPie. And then... Plug it into your OTG cable as you boot up and it will automatically create a file system on the USB. After it's done blinking, take it out and put it in your computer. You should see a bunch of folders. We're going to take a look at those right now. Once you got your USB plugged back in, go into the folder. You should have these folders now. Go into ROMs. You should have all of these right here. So take your ROMs, put them into the corresponding folder. And then you're going to want to plug it back into the Raspberry Pi while you're booting it up. And it's going to transfer all of the games for you. Right here for Sega Genesis, Mega Drive. I got some Mega Drive games. We're going to transfer these and test them out. So pop your Raspberry Pi back into the TV. Wait for it to boot up. Once you get booted up, you should be treated to this screen, which should have all of the games that you added. So right here, let's go to Mega Drive. Now it's, I got all these games here. Now since these are Mega Drive ROMs, you're definitely going to want to use the Pico Drive emulator when you boot one of these up. And there you go. Now you got the game going. Figure your controls and all that and you should be all set to go. Alright guys, take care. Stay tuned for another Raspberry Pi video in the future.